What's up everyone out there? Patrick here. I hope you guys are having a great day. What a crazy day and bullish, bullish day for Bitcoin. As we are seeing, the price hit almost $40,000. It actually hit $40,000 a little while ago. And if you look at this article right here, it's saying more than doubling in the last month. Now, guys, it, it, you guys, this is like one of the best days to celebrate for Bitcoin ever because now we're seeing the prices going near 50K. And I want to show you an article on why it's going up to 140,000 this year. Why would you think it's going to 140,000? Who said this? Why? Well, there's some major banking people that are saying this is going to happen, guys. And that, that 140,000, 146,000 is in the long term for this year, says JP Morgan. This is from JP Morgan himself, you guys. And JP Morgan was a little bit skeptical on Bitcoin before. He was uh, one of the guys kind of talking bad on it. But now it looks like he's changed course as all these institutional investors are now coming in. So let me read it to you guys right here. It says, Bitcoin's market capitalization of around $575 billion would have risen by 4.6 times theoretically to $146,000 in the private sector. This is going to beat gold, guys. This is where this is where we know it's going. We know it's heading to this mark. There's other people actually saying, too, if you look right here, another banking executive I have. Let me show you it. Here it is right here. Why a former billionaire and Goldman Sachs veteran now sees 50000 in 2021. Well, that was two weeks ago, guys, before we hit this major, major bull run. As you can see, that's happening right here. If you look on the, the chart, I'll show you right here over on CoinMarketCap. Let me go to it. Let's pull it up just so you can see how much we've risen in the last week. So I don't think it, I don't think this correction is going to end, guys. I think this is uh, you know I've been doing news videos. I, I predicted this 30k by New Year's and it happened. We're at 544,000 40 billion dollar market cap. Now look at where we are, guys. All the way up to 700. Where is it? 745. And we know we we're going to hit this one. We've already hit the one trillion dollar mark in other exchanges. But I mean, that's I and mean, this is just for Bitcoin alone. So, I mean, if you look right here, we're at 40, it doesn't, yeah, 40,000, 40,000 dollar Bitcoin right there. Oh my God, that's a huge jump. That is 10, that's a 10,000 dollar jump, guys, in one week. 10,000 dollars right there. So, I mean, all the Bitcoin deniers, there's no more denying Bitcoin, what it's going to. Do you look at, uh, we'll look at, now we'll look at the whole market cap overall. But I mean, there's just no denying it at this point right now. You guys can see what's going on. Look at, where is, one billion or one trillion dollars right here guys one trillion dollar market cap that is insane news i mean if you look right here these people are predicting this is the jp morgan right here he's saying that uh we're we're seeing one hundred and forty six thousand dollars. that's what's going to happen right now with the match of the private sector investments via gold exchange traded funds bars and coins strategists led by nicholas Per Panagrina, I can't pronounce that, but they basically, he says it depends on the volatility of Bitcoin converging with the gold to encounter, to encourage more institutional investment, and that process will take some time. So that's why, you guys, when we're looking at this right now, we're going to see Bitcoin gradually climb as all these more institutional investors start coming in. We might even see Elon Musk and all these other people start coming in that have uh, that were kind of bullish on Bitcoin said how can they he actually did a tweet a, a tweet a little while ago saying how can you move so much Bitcoin is it possible and it is possible that's what a lot of people don't understand so I mean this is this is huge guys this is really huge this implies that above one hundred forty six thousand dollars theoretically Bitcoin target should be considered considered as a long term target and thus a sustainable target for this year right there for this year guys sustainable target for this year so i mean i'm not just making these numbers up on my ass this is where it's going i've actually seen the winklevoss twins say four hundred thousand dollars so four hundred thousand to 146 that's over a five-year period but 146 thousand is a very theoretical possibility i don't think the price is going to come back down as we're breaching you know the forty thousand dollar mark j jp morgan says flows to grayscale trust is the key to bitcoin's outlook for now, JP Morgan sees headwinds for the largest cryptocurrency with indicators to build speculative long-term positions and increase in, in investment wallet holdings in Bitcoin. So these people are basically holding Bitcoin now. He's saying that we cannot exclude the possibility of the current speculative mania. To put it further, for the, between the regions of 50,000 to 100,000. 
right here. I mean, that's what I wanted to share with you guys on my channel. I mean, if you guys are watching this channel, this is what this is what we're all about here. We're about looking at that money. And if you look right here, we're looking at you know this is in the last in the last hours we've seen it go from thirty eight thousand to thirty nine thousand to forty thousand. I mean, that is just crazy, guys. Look at look right here. Let's, let's look at Bitcoin and let's, let's look what it's gone up in the last. 24 hours so you, so you can just get a, a little look at what's going here here we are at 36,000 here we are at 39,000 right here we know it went up to 40,000 I don't really have it on I don't think it's updated on this but I mean that's crazy guys that's like a $4,000 jump in 24 hours if that can happen we can easily see the $150,000 Bitcoin so I mean that's crazy we've also seen um, a rise in XRP this week it went up about 50% even though after all the lawsuits and stuff so if you look right here let's go look at XRP so XRP I think is a good investment I think the lawsuit isn't gonna stay look at this jump look at this jump right here let's do the the week okay so here we went down to 22 cents and now we're back up to 34 cents so that's crazy I mean ethereum's up all these ones are going up guys if you look on uh, let me see if I can see the the price I had an article of it up right now. I'll see if I can show you guys. This is just a quick little update news video I wanted to share for you guys because I think it's it's really crazy. XRP climbs up to crypto rankings with near 50% rise. The cryptocurrency is near 0 0.32 35 cents as it represents a 50% gain on a 24-hour basis. I mean, that is just insane, guys. However, despite our XRP's bounce back, prices are still 50% down from all-time highs of the all-time high was three dollars and thirty-two cents. That's where it was at before it was there. But I mean, I'm bullish, guys. I think this is great news. Pat on the back to everyone out there that held their crypto. Uh, but even buying crypto right now is not bad. I don't think the price is going to go down. I think the investors are going to hold long term, and more people are going to buy the fear of missing out. We're, I think the price is just going to keep going up from here on out. You know, people have lost faith in the dollar. They have. Uh, they basically, you know, all the economic stimulus packages, there's just uh, so much FOMO, fear of missing out right now all, of all the institutional investors. This is just a great time for Bitcoin and to be in the crypto space. I just want to congratulate all you guys for definitely holding crypto up there. And definitely follow me on Facebook if you guys are watching this channel right now. This is my Facebook, Crypto Patrick. I teach people how to make money on here. And I do, uh, you know, I have a lot of, I have about a thousand friends on here. I'm trying to get up to like 10,000. And I'm going to be doing news videos for you guys every day, keeping you guys well informed. So this is just some of the main headlines right now that are going on. There was a couple other things that I wanted to show you, but let's just maybe I'll get that to get that get, I'll get that to it in like another video. But let's just see. Can Bitcoin just keep going up? Here we go, guys. U.S. President signs order banning Chinese apps. Initial joblessness claims seven seven hundred and eighty. 7,000 people. So joblessness, guys, is really down right now. And that's because of the riots. That's because of, um, you know, the division. They're doing this divide and conquer strategy. And everyone's looking faith in real estate. They're looking faith in Bitcoin. They're looking faith in gold and silver. You know, all these, all these things that are stable. You know, Elon Musk has become the richest person today. Uh, there's just a lot of crazy thing. What's driving the rally? They're look at. They're saying right here: institutional buyers, burgeoning retail FOMO, Asian markets, and more. Why sim? And the more is basically the economic uh, factors. You know, the rioting, the you know, the the dollar going down. Despite growth, Bitcoin remains undervalued. It's still undervalued, guys. That hundred forty thousand dollars is coming. So I mean, you know, I'm not a financial investor. Make your own decisions. But that is my personal opinion. That's the news. That's the news as of right now, guys. It is Thursday, January seventh, and let's just hope by this weekend we can hit a fifty thousand dollar Bitcoin. And I think we're gonna head up to that hundred thousand, four hundred thousand dollar mark. Don't count. Don't mark my words, but I think that's where we're going. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. I appreciate all of you. Much love.